I really enjoy what I do. I work in digital embroidery, which is like the stuff that you see on baseball caps. But a few years ago, I learned how to do it, and it was just wonderful. I took the ideas of digital embroidery into the sculptural realm. The first image was Escape Capsule, which I did this year. It's about 52 inches wide. The second image is Chromatic Wave number one. This one is Chromatic Wave two. I became really fascinated not only with how folds work, but with how the light is scattered, changing the colors that you see from the threads in embroidery. This is chromatic exertion. Believe it or not, each of these little scrunchy sculptural things started out as a four inch square. The threads used for digital embroidery are three-sided and reflect light in all different directions, scattering the color. This is chromatic curve. It is sort of inspired by window shades, but it also has a rainbow effect. Again, exploiting the way the threads work, this only has two colors of thread in it, but it looks like many more. I have a strong background in artist books. This is an accordion book that I started working on in the embroidery medium. Many of my works in collections are actually in artist book collections, and this may wind up there as well. I think of these accordion books as houses, and this is the interior of the cover that I just showed you, and it is called House Number One. It also is the kind of accordion book that has pop-outs and also has what are called concertinas. It's like a flag book. This piece is house number four, I think. It just makes me giggle. Even though art can be quite serious because it definitely deals in how it makes you feel, it deals in the emotions. But this one is just plain fun with pop-ups and polka dots hanging out and waving in the air. The accordion books started getting very, very long. This one I call the city. It's like a whole group of buildings that are arrayed along a city street. I think of the pop-ups and the pop-outs as being the windows of the apartments. The title of this one is Mountainous. It is an accordion book again, but it got so long and so tall that it's like a bunch of mountains. It is over eight feet long and it stands about 20 inches tall. The title of this one is Trinity. It is a continuation of working with folds. Folds are very, very interesting. And working with color in the embroidery is intense. And for me, this had a religiosity to it in and of itself. The title of this one is Architectural Triptych. It is somewhat smaller than the last image and it is subtly dimensional. And they are both mounted on commercial felt, which is over one half inch thick. I have to confess that this is one of my favorite pieces. Its title is Treasure, and it is a group of three-dimensional objects that are placed on a tray that has a mirror in the middle. And once I made the little red rubies, it became a treasure. The title of this one is Choice Point. It is very tall and it commands a wall. I think it's about six feet tall, all told. The title of this piece is Glossolalia. It is about 42, 43 inches tall, and it imposes into a space by about 10 inches. 
It's really quite imposing for its modest size. And the reason for that is that the cool reds and the warm reds really vibrate. This piece, Horizon, hangs above eye level. It is eight feet wide and you need to look up to see it. And when you do that, you tend to take a very deep cleansing breath automatically, which then gives you a sense of peace. Semaphore is a continuation of a series that had to do with stripes. I was inspired by seeing in person some of the paintings of Bridget Riley. I was fascinated by how colors in close proximity and stripes, depending on their relationship to one another, affected how I felt. This piece is entitled Stax, S-T-A-X, which I kind of think of as Bridget Riley's library, so we have entered her Stax. It is fully three-dimensional and it is encased in hand-rubbed walnut. This is quite a large piece. It probably occupies four feet square of wall space. The title of it is Fission, which is the pulling apart of atoms. I also thought of it as cell division, and it's quite a lovely piece. This final piece is called Energy Conservation, part of the series coming out of the image Fission. Thinking about energy and how it crackles, I used variegated threads and lots of folds to bend the light. <laughs>